Hello everyone, Zeno Zimmer here and welcome back to more Let's Play Star Wars Coder. If you believe your skills are up to the task, request. And yes, last time we got this guy. Negatory. A piece. Statement. As you wish, Master. The first stage is the simple one, and that is accessing my central control cluster. This makes Close the last panel. Hmm. I am afraid the operation did not succeed, Master. Though it was a valiant attempt for a meat bag. Supplication. Perhaps it would be best if you just. I want to try again. No! <laughs> that is not it, Master. No, that is not it either. <sighs> that is a hinge, Master. Supplication. <laughs> One more time. Now close the last oh no, we didn't get the one. I'm, I'm gonna keep going until we get that one. Now close oh, what's up? No, no, no! This is no good, Master. <laughs> you have nearly detonated my thermal core three times in a matter of minutes. Supplication. Stay That's not the one I wanted. No, no! What are you doing, Master? That is my motor core. Stop! That was not, that's so great though. <laughs> what are you doing? Remove the arc wrench. Remove the arc wrench. Medic. Supplic. We'll do this later. Yeah, I still had the bell on. God damn it. We actually do have great. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, before we go to where we were going, because I had to, because I realised, yeah, no, can't do missions, quest. Uh, HK47 has f flight simulator turret missions. Yeah, no, we're not doing those ever. Talk to Bastila. How can I help? Yes, I did. I wanted to speak to you about one mission and what lies ahead for us. It seems fate, or the Force, is driving us into a confrontation with the Dark Lord. You must prepare yourself for when we face Malak. The confrontation will be difficult for you. I remember how hard it was when I first faced Revan. It's true that due to my battle meditation, I was with the Jedi Strike team that boarded Revan's ship. We did not kill Revan, however. Our mission was to capture Revan if possible. It was Malak who turned on his own master, firing upon Revan's ship while we were still on board it. It was his desire to kill us and his master both. Thankfully, we narrowly escaped the vessel as it exploded. As I said, we were there to capture Revan alive. The Jedi do not believe in killing their prisoners. No one deserves execution, no matter what their crimes. Remember that Revan and Malak were once great Jedi, heroes in every sense of the word. They demonstrate the danger of the dark side to us all. I'm sorry, we really shouldn't speak of this anymore. The memory of my confrontation with Revan is painful. Let's return to the mission, please. Bullshit. Jedi do execute people? Even this help? time? Yes, I suppose I can understand your curiosity, given the bond that connects us. Very well. I'll tell you a bit about myself. I was found to be strong with the Force at a young age, as most Padawans are. As a girl, I was given to the Order to be trained. When I joined the Order, I left my family on Tal Ravan, as all Padawans do. My family is still there, the last that I heard. I've had little contact with them, as it is discouraged. Relationships with family members are fraught with powerful emotions. Such extremes are to be avoided. Anger and hate are the worst, but even love can lead to folly. The gift of the Force comes with a high cost. Sacrifice of one's emotional attachments is one of the prices a Jedi must be willing to pay. The alternative is to fall prey to the dark side. Emotional entanglements can be dangerous. They can impair rational thought. They can lead to outbursts of uncontrolled emotion. A Jedi must be above such things. Like all who join the Order, I have learned to embrace the life I've chosen. I had to let go of my attachments to my family. 
It can be a hard lesson to learn. I was not on good terms with all of my family, but I do remember missing my father terribly for a long time. Very close. I was only a little girl when I left my family, but I still remember him fondly. He was kind and gentle and doted on me. My mother, however, was different. I was not on good terms with my mother. I was only a little girl when I left, but I was old enough to resent her and the way she treated my father. She pushed my father into treasure hunting. I spent all my young life on ships, traveling from one false lead to the next. She whittled away my father's entire fortune, and I hated her for it. I think she was relieved to give me to the Jedi, but my father was heartbroken. A child is too young to understand the sacrifices that must be made. It's better if they have no contact with their family once they're removed. Once I was older, I realized the wisdom of this policy. A Jedi must do what is needed, personal desires notwithstanding. Love can only obscure and confuse the matter. Even a Jedi cannot always control the feelings of the heart. We must do our best to guard against it, no matter what the cost. But some sacrifices are harder than others. I, I do not wish to discuss this anymore. I would rather return to our mission. How can okay. I help? Nope. Then I... Yes, what's on your mind? I'm all ears, beautiful. <laughs> a little bit touchy, are we? I, is there something else you'd prefer I called you? Don't get yourself in a twist over it, gorgeous. I didn't mean anything by it. Oh, for crying out... Fine. If it'll make you feel better, you call me something. Go ahead. Come on. I can take it. What, are you afraid you'll hurt my feelings? Come on, spit it out. You can do it. Oh, all this is today, eh? Are those questions really necessary? No, no, how can I resist a challenge to my manly pride, huh? <laughs> Fine. You made your point. Interrogate it well. I don't get testy. I get angry. And if I was angry, you wouldn't have to ask me if I was, let me assure you. Let me ask you something first, though. I've been going through the battle aboard the Endar Spire over and over in my head since we crashed. Some things just don't add up for me. Maybe you could tell me what happened, from your perspective. True. Bastel is as powerful as I say. She's the one who defeated Darth Revan, after all. Mm. I guess that no Jedi ability, no matter how powerful, makes up for being completely surprised and outmatched. We didn't choose that battle anyway. It got forced on us. Hell, I'm, I'm, I'm just as surprised that any of us are alive to talk about it. Come to think of it, it's more than a little surprising that you happen to be here, isn't it? I mean, just what is your position with the Republic fleet anyway? I don't know. Unless you consider that you were a last-minute addition to the crew roster and you just happened to be one of the survivors. You were the only one. Not to mention that Bastila's party was the one who requested your transfer. The Jedi requested numerous things when they came on board. I mean, hell, they practically took over the ship, as far as I could tell. Considering your connection to Bastila and the Jedi, whether you know it or not, your presence here seems a little convenient. I'm probably wrong, and this is probably nothing, I know. I learned a long time ago not to take things at face value, however, and... I hate surprises. I expect you're right. I've got no real reason to suspect you of anything. Still, it's better to be safe than sorry, right? Look, it has nothing to do with you personally. I don't trust anyone, and I have my reasons. And no, I'm not going to discuss them, so can we just keep our mind on more important things? All right, all right. You must be the most damn persistent woman I've ever met. We'll talk about it, but later. Right now, I just want to get going. That will be helpful for his quest. We're going to Kashyyyk.
cheek. Oh boy. Another vision. The Force is guiding us, helping us retrace the steps of Malak and his old master, leading us ever closer to the Star Forge. Kashek is a lush but simple and undeveloped world. I would not have expected to find the alien technology of a star map here. The Wookiees of Kashek make their home high among the Rosha branches. Only their bravest warriors dare to descend into the forbidding depths of the forest. If the star map is located far beneath us on the planet's surface, as our vision seems to suggest, it's unlikely the Wookiees even know of its existence. No doubt things will become more clear once we discover the star map's location. Or will it? Can't wait to get rid of these. Yeah, what do you want? You're not ready yet. Don't believe Juhan. Yeah, Juhanic doesn't. Johnny's is based on this star chart. Star maps. Get Solar and Mission. And we'll then switch Mission. Uh. So slow. Hear me? What do you mean?
find out why Zalbar is outcast here. Shame. want to open all these because we could just take them. Uh, no, we do not want to go in there. Unless we want to start a fight. Mission, is that you? It's me, Lena, remember? I was dating your brother back on Terrace. Lena? What are you doing here? Where's Griff? I'm just passing through. Griff and I broke up a few months after we left Terrace together. Probably for the best. Your brother can be charming, Mission, but he's bad news. Don't you start trashing my brother, you cantina rat! Take that back or I'll smack you so hard your head tails will pop off! <sighs> Mission, what's wrong with you? Why are you acting this way? Yeah, I know how she feels. Griff can be pretty frustrating. I guess that's why Mission didn't want to come with us when we left Terrace. You... Liar! Griff told me that you didn't want his little sister tagging along. That's why he had to leave me behind. Is that what the hut spawn told you? I wanted you to come with us, Mission. I even offered to pay for your ticket. Why not? I paid for everything else while I was with that freeloader. But he told me you didn't want to leave Terrace. I said we shouldn't even go then. But he said we'd come back and get you after we struck it rich on Tatooine. Just another one of his lies. No, you're the one who's lying. Griff wouldn't... He wouldn't try to leave me behind. Think about it. If Griff wasn't trying to ditch you, Mission, then why didn't he tell you where we were going? After we left Terrace, he told me looking after you was holding him back. Griff's always looking to blame other people for his own problems. That's why he abandoned you. He did the same thing to me, too. As soon as I ran out of money, he started blaming me for all of his problems. Like it's my fault his get-rich-quick schemes never work out. He's still on Tatooine, as far as I know. Not that I really care anymore. And if Mission was smart, she'd forget about that no-good con artist. But Griff is my brother. I, I just can't pretend he doesn't exist. If he was here to defend himself, Lena wouldn't be saying all this bad stuff about him. <sighs> hey, if you want to talk to Griff, go ahead. Last I heard, he was going to make a fortune working the Zerka Corp mines on Tatooine. But as far as I'm concerned, he's out of my life forever. Griff's better off without you anyway, you table-dancing, brother-stealing, home-wrecker. <sighs> I guess that's my cue to leave then. I didn't mean to upset you, Mission. But one day you'll see I'm right about your brother. I only hope it's not too late by then. And now, we can switch in. Uh... Yeah, we'll send in Basta. Basta. Never see Lena ever again. Hold here, Spacer. Zerka Corporation doesn't recommend traveling in Wild Adean. Katarn attacks are especially bad right now. Wookie hunters usually keep numbers down, but I think they leave certain areas infested, just hoping a Zerka guard will get killed. I won't stop you, but you leave this area at your own risk. We're here to protect the company, not you. I don't care. I'm a mean man. Woman. Whatever. <laughs> There's a Knarf. <laughs> Sentry.
have trouble will come up. Rate to be droid. And what can I do? Hmm? This isn't good. I can't afford this. You think I can? Do you know what they get for a healthy one of those things? We'll work it out later. We've got company. What do you want, Spacer? I'm Patrol Captain Denno, and you're interrupting Zerka Corporation business. This Wookiee slave got a little rebellious. We had to put it down. <laughs> now. That growl sounded pretty threatening. Keep your slave on its leash or we'll have another accident. Just shut up, you trigger-happy idiot. Oh, of course they don't. Why would you ask me that? You're doing some sort of snap inspection? You're trying to get me to admit to incompetence, aren't you? Not going to happen. I stand by my patrol. This Wookiee got out of hand and had to be put down. We'll find another easy enough. Is that a joke? Who do you think you are? What? Blasters ready, men! This fool wants to die. There. And the guards die quickly. Because they're pathetic. That droid did yes, not survive very long, if long at all. does. Jesus. I feel ashamed I even gave it parts. Basically, get some free stuff. 
a few times. Treading on the grey might be good. Grey. Dark Jedi. Lord Malak was most displeased when he learned you had escaped Taris alive. He has promised a great reward to whoever destroys you. Stuff. Stuff that's sadly not going to be too useful until we get to the bench again. And yeah, we can't bring Zobar. We're actually going to bring Candorus with us for the rest of this.
as we have little choice. We should proceed with caution, however. <laughs> Inducing. The one thing I don't like about this game, air language, gets real headachey. Wish it was much shorter. Okay, let's go, Candorous. How can I help? Do I, stop I do. I've been watching you, studying you closely to see what kind of progress you've made since your training at the hands of Master Zar. I've seen how you've resisted many temptations and continue to walk the path of the light side. Very commendable, but I'm afraid you might stray from this path. You need to see what the dark side represents in its entirety. For it is what we battle. Only the wisdom of a Jedi Master can truly explain this. But I will do my best to make you understand. We must, for all our sakes. If you had the proper training under a Master, you would know all this. But because of our mission, I must be the one to try and help you understand. The dark side is not simply giving in to anger, or temptation, or to use the Force to destructive ends. These things only lead to the dark side. The dark side grows stronger and more insidious the closer you draw to it. It begs you to surrender to it, to release all its terrible power, and it becomes harder and harder to resist. And once you stop resisting, it's too late. It twists you up inside and turns you into a mockery of everything you once stood for. As much as I want him more, she has been bit dragged. You say you understand, but I'm afraid you are taking this too lightly. The power of the dark side can be alluring. We need only to look at the atrocities which have been committed by those under its sway to understand the terrible, corrupting evil of the dark side. Millions dead, and far more suffering. What sort of person would you have to become to perform such deeds gladly? One who serves the light does not strike down an innocent. We take arms against the dark side and the injustice that follows it only. It's so easy to think that we would never fall prey to such a horror. That we have unlimited control, vigilance, and foresight. If only that were true. The Sith have become powerful because there are many Jedi who've succumbed to the lure of the dark side and joined their cause. What greater weapon is there than to turn an enemy to your cause? To use their own knowledge against them? We are weakened while they are strengthened, so we must harden our hearts and do whatever is required to fight against the dark side, even when the battle becomes wearying. I don't know. The vision of our future is clouded by shadows cast from the dark side. But I sense something ominous lurking in those shadows. But words alone cannot save one from the dark side. Come, we should continue with the task at hand. When the time comes, I only hope we are all strong enough to do what we must. Bullshit. Words alone can. And they have. In universe. Also, don't check the worker bins. We're not welcome here. I believe it can aggravate these guys. Grad, we will be able to check them much later. Now we've got 
fine. Oh God. You cannot win. Here it is. So be it. The force fights with me. You guys suck. They usually are not this bad, but apparently they are. Today, at least. I'm not gonna ignore this guy. I believe. Yeah, no. But the experience doesn't hurt. See him again, I'm sure. And now we get one more box. Okay, sir. And saving and loading. There is a chance. Yep. So I didn't do anything. I have to give you credit. You've led me on quite a chase, but nobody gets away from Callow Nord in the end. I see you brought some backup, Callow. Realized we were a bit too much to handle on your own, huh? You got lucky on Terrace. The Sith attack saved you from a quick and gruesome death. But I promise you, the Sith won't be getting in my way this time. You think you got... You think I got lucky last time? Okay. Let's do it again. Let's go, boys. It's showtime. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Gives us 2,000 credits and some pretty good gear, which we're going to give to Candorus. Because being real, can I do? he's the only one that's going to be able to get as much use. 
Oh, I may need to get some intelligence. Prepare. Nope, I do not want to do that. I keep pressing Y. Step of X. North Kalo? Dead? We can move on. Crawling beasts are hiding in the underbrush. Who are you? What are you doing? I'm Jolie. Jolie Bindo. Follow me to my camp and we'll talk a bit. You use a lightsaber in battle. Are you a Jedi? Ah, don't start fawning just yet. I'm too old for it. Uh, I, I know a few things, but we can talk about it at my camp. Keep close. It's nearby under a log. Yeah, I live like some burrowing rodent. I fought the Sith. Now look at me. <laughs> and yes, he'll be a new bar member. We'll just need to get his aid, though, which won't be easy, as I'll soon find out. Quickly throw heal up. Never heal up. Nice place to go here. Well, welcome to my home, such as it is. Pull up a stump and be comfortable. We should discuss a few things. Yes, I feel there's much as you can tell Don't me. Don't coddle me, child. I'm neither a Jedi nor your master. I'm just an old man that's been lost in the woods for far too long. My days of glory are behind me, but perhaps there is something I can do for you. You must have questions. Have you any knowledge of Star Wars? Why would you be asking about that, hmm? Don't answer. I knew that had to be why you were here. The problems of a few Wookiees don't amount to anything before the concerns of the Jedi. No, you are here for the map. Kashyyyk is an interesting place. More so than anyone suspects. If Zerka Corporation knew, the planet would be a strip mine. The Wookiees have their legends that they were not always here. But it is more than that. The trees themselves are strangers. What I'm saying is that there are literally walls in your way. And you won't find what you need without my help. And my help has a price. You must do a task for me, and then allow me to join with you. I will then remove certain barriers in your path. Oh, save it. I know this sounds absurd, but I'm old and entitled to work you around a bit. Besides, the test is simple. Since they began expanding in the Shadowlands, the Circa have left me alone for the most part. Until recently, anyway. A group of them set up camp not far from here. Poachers is all they are. I'd like them removed from this place. Why would you want to join with me? Presumably have a ship. I've seen all I wish to here. Isn't that enough? I mean, I'm really sick of the trees. And perhaps your destiny might show me something new. You never know. Don't talk back to your elders, child. Look, they know me quite well, and they're always on alert when I approach. The only way I could get rid of them would be violence, which would eventually lead to trouble for the Wookiees. I want them gone, but with as little fuss as possible. 
have already caused enough trouble as it is. Oh, look Good. at it. Return to me here and we'll see how you have done. Shoo! Shoo! <laughs> as you'll get to see, Jolie is also pretty great. <laughs> about Jolie later. Okay. We're just getting some experience. Because that'll be helpful. Broken droid. And yes, Miles, we'll deal with his problem. Back. When he gets playback. Eli, what are you... You got your money, you double-crossing snake. We had a deal. Savage when you come from his droid. We'll get to doing what Jolie wants us to just wants us to do in this episode. Yes, everything becomes blurry. I am sorry, but this will get us quickly through. The one that's one thing I kind of wish they didn't make it, which is blurry. I'll be helpful for a quest later. civil merchant like that coral slime up on the docking ring? This is my territory. I don't make deals, and I don't persuade easily, so go back topside. Mess with my profits, and I'll see you dead. A crazy old fool is still alive. I suppose he's still upset that we don't all live in little homemade shacks like he chooses. I've got a job to do here, and there's nothing you or that old coot can do about it. Is that old hermit Jolie trying to talk you into doing his dirty work? You spent too much on setting up just to walk away. As long as the sonic emitters keep the preds away and I've got bodies to guard the perimeter, we're staying right here. I mean, if I can put up with my own worthless guards complaining about this place, Jolie whining through you is nothing. Okay. Good. We'll just do this, and then we'll talk to the guards. You want anything, you'll have to talk to the commander. 
Why am I here? I'm here because this is where the commander told me to stand. And that's all there is to it. I'm just a guard for this guy. Why couldn't they have just equipped this lump of tech with a blaster and left me at home? I'm not here because I know stuff. I handle a blaster well enough to guard this emitter and that's it. Talk to the commander. They generate a sonic barrier that allows us to stay in this wonderful location. It keeps the big predators away. I don't know how it works, really. I just know that if they go down, the camp would be overrun. What of it? I don't like being here, that's for sure. I suppose you could take this code and shut down the emitter I'm guarding. Enough of those emitters go down, and the camp will have to move out. But I never said anything. Now we're going here. Tax. You want anything, Shop. you'll have to talk to the... Why am I'm just... What do you want? I don't... Enough... Yeah, they'll just copy the stem cells. What? And then... That's not Rancor. Run! Run! That's not Rancor. That's scary. No. Oh, come on. We've got some tag glands, because that would be helpful for missions quest. And now, we'll get to talk about the last part of armor, technically, in this game. And I say technically, because te if we want to get technical, so there is Bastila, more. I heard a rumor that the Vulcars captured you without much of a struggle. It must be embarrassing to Really? Me. There were extenuating circumstances, and I can assure you, it took far more than a handful of Vulcas to subdue me. <laughs> Whatever you say. All I know is that if we had more Jedi like Bastila fighting against us in the Mandalorian Wars, my side might not have lost. Bold talk from a broken down mercenary who is serving at Davik's heel. I'd call you his pet cat hound. But they have enough loyalty not to turn on their masters. Insults? Maybe if your master had trained your lightsaber to be as quick as your tongue, you could have escaped those Vulcars, you spoiled little Jedi princess. I was not spoiled. I was given the same training as everyone else in the Order. You are nothing but a... No. I must not do this. There is no emotion. There is peace. That's the problem with you, Jedi. Always chanting about peace and control. Never up for a good fight. Well, except for Revan, I guess. Enough, Mandalorian. I won't rise to your bait anymore. The game is over. Let us continue on with what we were doing. You sure? Because it sure sounds like the game's not over. Especially not this game. <laughs> we haven't even completed one planet. Truly. Actually, let's check the money. Nope, we're still not close. No, we might be getting closer. Talk to Jolie now. Welcome back! I wonder, have you had much luck? Have you done as I asked? Let me start in the poachers are gone. Yes, I could feel it as you walked near. And I don't sense the smell of death on you. You spared them. Interesting. There was nothing to be gained by killing them. Wasn't there? I suppose not, but the environment would say otherwise if it could talk. No matter. Will you help me find the star map now? Yes, of course. Let's get moving. I noticed the old path some time ago. You probably wouldn't have found them on your own. There's also a Zerka repulsor field blocking the way, past the poacher camp in the east. I saw it when it was installed, so I know how to pass it. And on the other side, ancient answers. And perhaps a Wookiee you are seeking. I hope he's in the mood for visitors. So, we'll be bringing Kendris again. So, Jolie, 
Is it like our other part of our Jedi? First, let's talk about him. Joey is a Grey Jedi. If you guys don't know what a Grey Jedi is, which understandable, they're a Jedi that doesn't go... isn't... is in between the light and dark. They can utilize both without the consequences of the other. And Joey's the interesting thing of this guy. Interesting type. Because he's the old mentor character without being the old mentor character character. He's also a Jedi Consular, which, yeah, his wisdom is going to be great. Want to increase his stuff. Okay, good, he's got a disabled droid. He also has some very weird abilities, abilities and I don't know why. Attributes. You will want to raise his wiz, but you also want to raise his strength a bit. Right now, I'm going to raise his strength because he's going to miss a lot and it's going to be embarrassing. Oh yeah, he also has effect mine. So, uh, there's that. Feats. He is proficient in dueling. So he's better with one hand. I'm iffy on this, but just to show you how people usually have Jolie, we're gonna have to do this. Not now, because I do want to get him to two hand fighting, but also dueling, which is gonna mess with me. Alright, he has another point. Nope. He gets a lot of force, force powers. Powers, I believe. Nope, he does not get destroyed right yet. But he does get. Oh, which one of his better? Actually, you should just get this. And yeah. What? Julie has the other green le green le lightsaber, so we want to give him some something that will another lightsaber, another type of light. We need to get ourselves another type of lightsaber. Right now, I'm gonna give him the purple lightsaber because we'll need it. We'll need as much damage in the next area. But, that's enough for this episode. Next time, we will go deeper into the Shadowlands and find not only the next rookie, but the star map. And hopefully stop Chunder. Because being real, why would we keep him in power? Let's be real. We're not, I'm not even going to hide it. We're not keeping him in power. See you guys then. Xeno and Zuma, signing out.